my ninjas, this episode, okay, first off, let me tell you guys, I woke up this morning disappointed because of yesterday, no Naruto chapter yet again, and I stayed up all night waiting for it, and I stayed up all night last night just in case it would come out today, so I'm still not sure of the new Naruto manga schedule, and I woke up to a lot of hate mail about this episode. Now, personally, I can kind of understand you know, where people are coming from because the animation was different, but in my opinion, it was awesome to me. It reminded me of the Naruto versus Pain, and it reminded me of when the uh, Nine Tails first invaded the village. That's the kind of animation it had. And it's it was it's a lot smoother, in my opinion, than the normal animation, although sometimes that animation can get very choppy, but I did enjoy it. But the main thing that people are complaining about, in my inbox anyway, was the uh, Obito and Kakashi fight, how there weren't that many jutsus, you know, etc., etc. Personally, in my opinion, this is how the Kakashi and Obito fight should have been done. Kakashi finally said, hey, fuck all this genjutsu shit, man. We need to get down to it. The only thing I can help you with now is to die, motherfucker. You gonna die today. And I'm glad that Kakashi finally came to that realization that this is not the same Obito, and Obito's will is in Naruto. But that fight, man, the symbolism, just the flashbacks of when they were doing hand-to-hand -hand combat as Team 7 back then, it was awesome. I enjoyed it, and you guys know how I love when characters do taijutsu now because it's so rare we don't get that anymore especially since shippuden has started back in part one we got it all the time but no one does it anymore so i thought that it was really refreshing to see that this episode especially with kakashi and obito doing taijutsu how they did back in the day was it was amazing the fireball jutsu the mud wall everything on that that scene was animated well. I mean, Obito healing himself like he's fucking Wolverine, cracking his neck, and him, him having a fucking psycho face on. The finale of that fight, when younger Kakashi got younger Obito on the ground, and they were about to do the unison sign, and Obito pushed his younger self out the way, like, I'm not him anymore. Get the fuck out my way. Get the fuck out my face, younger me. I was like, oh my god. The symbolism here. Whoever animated this episode, whoever actually thought of all this right here, is a genius. I don't remember if that part was in the manga, so tell me if it is or not, but that was just genius writing right there. And the last blow, man, that Raikiri threw Obito's chest. You could tell it really hurt Kakashi because his hand was trembling. It must have reminded him of what he did to Ren, but Obito got the, the worst of the deal right there, man. Kakashi got a slam like maybe an inch thick pole through his chest, but Obito got a whole fist, a whole electrified fist at that. But around the beginning, I think the anime does a much better job of showing that Sasuke's true intentions are are still kind of dark, because he's like, nah man, fuck the nine-tailed beasts, they're all going to burn, I'm going to get rid of this old system. And that's so messed up when you think about it, because the tail beasts really didn't do it. I mean, well they have killed many people over the years, but I mean, they've been used as weapons, and put inside people's bodies for equality for villages and crap you can't really blame them so for Sasuke to say you know fuck them I'm going to burn them all it's really messed up and you can tell that he still has a huge amount of darkness in his heart and that fake smile from Sakura man I'm not even going to get into Sakura too much this review because I can't say you know, much more than what I've already said. She's still in love with Sasuke, it's obvious. And she's trying to make an excuse of like, no, nah, he's back with us. He's not a bad guy. He's not going to totally shador me in the fucking heart. So in my opinion, if Sasuke is trying to do good, but trying to do it in an evil way, sort of like Pain and almost every other villain in this series, and if Orochimaru is going along with Sasuke's decisions, that makes him as bad as Sasuke, if you ask me. But looking back on that Amaterasu, slash Rasen Shuriken, when it hit the Ten Tails, it seems like only the Amaterasu did anything, but I was expecting like a huge Rasen Shuriken explosion to go along with it, because isn't the Rasen Shuriken supposed to destroy something's body from the inside out on a micro microscopic molecular level, so that would have really helped out, but no, it just seems like the, the Rasen Shuriken carried 
the Amaterasu to the Tentails and there was no explosion. Maybe a Rasen Shuriken would have helped out because the Tentail seems to be nothing but flesh and if you could destroy it on a molecular level to the point where it can't regenerate, that would really help out Naruto. But then again, it is the Tentails and when Naruto hit uh, Kurama with that same jutsu, it did almost nothing. But then again, that was in his subconscious, so who knows how different it really would have been. I like how when Obito came out of the Kamui dimension, Madara was like, there's my bitch, time to reap what you sow. And that dude, <laughs> Madara Uchiha, Uchiha Madara, that face, that, that face cracked me up, man. I LOL'd, I contemplated I contemplated using that as my thumbnail because it was just so hilarious. But he realized that he's been trolled by Obito Uchiha. So right now, Obito is one of the biggest trolls in the series. That may change later, but right now, Obito is the biggest troll. And before I get into what happened to Obito, because I'm pretty sure that's what you guys want to hear me talk about, during the Kakashi and Obito fight, I'm not sure why, but I just thought it was so awesome when they or like clenching hands and Obito used Kakashi's hand to make the signs for the fireball jutsu. That was an epic scene. And Obito was actually pretty badass even though he lost to Kakashi. I'm not going to get into that right now. But at the end of this episode, the end of this episode is what I've been waiting to see for a very long time. Although next episode we won't get to see exactly what's going to happen because we're getting a filler about Mecha Naruto of all things in celebration for the upcoming game. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I like his combos. I mean, his combos are fucking awesome. I played the demo of uh, Storm Revolution, but um, an episode about a Mecha Naruto after Obito just became the fucking Ten Tails Jinchuriki, that could not have been placed at a worse time. But the timing of the Ten Tails uh, Obito reveal. Gives me hope that maybe, just maybe, he is a what-if character or, you know, a secret character in the new game. That would be awesome. But Obito trolled Madara. He sucked in the tentails and it made an egg. And out of the egg hatched a beautiful baby Jinchuriki Obito. But yeah, I forgot to mention, the scene where Minato teleported to Obito and just sliced him up, he actually should have cut his head off. That would have avoided a lot of bullshit that's about to come up soon. But this is what I wanted ever since Minato came back, him to look into Obito's eyes and realize that he's the reason that he had to put the nine tails in his son, that Obito is the reason that he and his wife are dead. And he finally came to that realization and even after he thought he killed Obito, he says, I wish that you were alive so you could be Hokage. I really was rooting for you to become Hokage. So that's really sad to see that Obito went from that to this. But I mean, the Ten Tails Obito, let's get real. If Obito stayed good, he wouldn't become Ten Tails Jinchuriki. And we wouldn't have an awesome episode coming up with Uchiha Sasuke-kun. I think he really does want to become Hokage, but he wants to be like a dictator kind of person. Like he wants to rule with an iron fist. He wants to get rid of all the old methods and come up with this, this, you know, just straight up, you have to do what the fuck I say or else you're going to die. Like that's the kind of ruler I see Sasuke as wanting to be. One more thing before I go. The scene where Madara had Hashirama hanging like a fucking rag doll from his Susano sword. And Hashirama was like, let me talk no jutsu you for a second. And then Madara was like, nope. <laughs> I just find that hilarious that nobody's talk no jutsu ever works, ever works besides Naruto. Except for Hashirama kind of did change something in Sasuke's mind, but we're still not sure of what that is. Because Sasuke's mind is a creepy, dark, disgusting place, probably. Oh yeah, and the five Kage are on the way back. Although the person that completely owned them is still on the battlefield. So I don't see, you know, that doesn't really hype me up too much because they got their ass whooped by one person. Now there's that same person and a Ten Tails Jinchuriki. They might as well just sit there and compare Mei and Tsunade's tits. But anyway, tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Do you think it was trash? Did you like the animation? Personally, I loved it, especially the Taijutsu aspects of this episode and the Ten Tails Jinchuriki. Uh, man, Obito trolled the hell out of Madara. Even Madara was like, damn, this guy is a good troll. How much ass do you think Obito is about to kick now? But anyway, this has been JB Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.